Hi folks, in today's video tutorial I'm going to show you how to work with dual dimension with Creo drawing. And directly I will start from scratch so we can try to name of the model will be dual and I will quickly create only really easy shape. So will be some rectangle and maybe some hole directly created here. Yeah, nothing special and some dimensions. We can leave it here and only what I'd like to maybe create is that this one will be 254 what does it mean will be 10 inch in future yeah it will be possible to check well on all another dimension will be calculated automatically i will finish this one and some depth doesn't matter and we will check the model properties so if i will select model properties we see that right now my model is unit millimeter kilogram sec so everything is in millimeters and i'd like to see in the drawing dual dimension it was directly request and i have found this request under my video tutorial so leave the comment or question also and we can try to find some solution for you okay so let's continue the model is created we need to create the new drawing so i can hit the ctrl n and i can create new drawing with the same template and the use drawing as the file name so the name will be also dual if i hit the OK, I'd like to use the empty format, so an A3 is OK, only for this example. So the I didn't use the template, the empty format is fine. I will create new general view and I will place it here with left mouse button and you can select the orientation. So for example, front will be suitable and maybe size and scale will be different. 0.5 is the scale. Last but not least is the show dimension. So quickly and easy you can select object and then hit the button show model annotation and system show me uh, all necessary what has been created in the drawing, in the 3D model. In the drawing now I can see only millimeters. So everything what is marked here is millimeter because my 3D model is millimeter and also preferences for the drawing are set as in millimeters. I like to speak about the dual dimension. So what is necessary to do is select file, prepare and drawing properties. If you select the drawing properties over here is detail option. So this is the preferences for the drawing. And in these preferences, you can manage the size of the visible object in the drawing or you can manage the section and so on. I'd like to jump in the where I am able to control dimensions. So this option control dimensions and over here you can find the dual dimensions. So yes, of course, I'd like to create a dual dimension with a bracket. So yes, it will be in the bracket and dual dimension now are not visible. So I will simply change to primary and secondary. What does it mean? My primary is millimeter, secondary will be inch. So you can see that it will be directly in the bracket. You can set opposite also. Nothing more is necessary to set. So I will apply and close and close necessary information. And you see that every information which are in the model and drawing are transformed into dual dimension. Last but not least, you are able to select, for example, one, maybe more dimensions. So with a control button or you can simply create the rectangle. You are able to select dual dimension and set, for example, to right. Yeah, so will be placed not at the bottom of the line, but will be next to. It depends what you need and what you prefer for the visualization. If you need to change dimension, these dimensions are propagated from the model. So I can select simply double, double click. And then, for example, we will try to write 225. And you see that the system automatically regenerate the model dimension and also in the inch. So it was a quick example how to create and manage the dual dimensions in the drawing. Stay tuned. Thanks for the question and bye bye. Vladimir.